Well, I'm not sure if I played that exactly right, but that was Love Me Do by the Beatles, and that is a great tune to uh, learn, start working on some cross harp stuff. My name is Luke Klepsch, and uh, maybe you've been watching some of my other uh, intro to harmonica videos. Um, and again, this is in cross harp, so I have here, I should probably should be saying this more often, I have a C harmonica, and we are playing in the key of G, which is known as second position. Uh, or also referred to as cross harp, and we are going to be doing more drawing uh, instead of blowing. Uh, one of the, th actually the last tutorial that I did on the little shuffle um, harmonica thing will be a good prep actually for this song, uh, Love Me Do. And uh, the reason I like Love Me Do to work on right now in the beginning too is because uh, you don't have to do any bending. And uh, that will be the next video, we'll start working on bending. But this is a great way that you can really get your feet wet in some fun cross harp stuff uh, without yet knowing how to bend. Be working on your, uh, your uh, no isolation and be working on just finding the hole that you're trying to get to and everything like that. So Love Me Do starts on, a, on the five draw. And um, again, how we find our hole when, we, when we're not sure if we have it is we just start at one and go over, right? Well, I had something stuck in there. <laughs> that happens sometimes. There it is. It sucks when that happens in the middle of a solo at a gig, but okay, here we go. There we, there's our first note. That's the five draw. Then we're gonna blow on the same note. Then we're gonna move one note to the left to the four draw. Now, as I said on one of the previous videos, we have two choices uh, on whether we wanna go to the three blow or the two draw, right? So we could do it, let's try it on the three blow. Starting, I mean, ending this lick on the, on the three blow. Right? We could do it that way. However, like I said before, I think the sound of the two draw tends to be a better choice in this, in this type of uh, scenario. I'm not sure which one I don't know who was playing that. Was it John or Paul? I'm not sure, or George. But anyways, um, so this is what it would sound like using the two draw. You know, I think that sounds a little bit better. So I would advocate using that. Um, so the next thing that uh, I would like to point out is that we can start to get a little bit move towards bending. Uh, the, the five draw, as I'll talk about in the next video, doesn't really bend that much. But what we want to be doing um, when we're playing these notes is just saying the word oi, like O-I, oi. Oi, oi, oi. So I'm sucking in and going Okay, which I'll be getting into, like I said, more on the next bending video. But. And again, on those lower notes, if you didn't see the last one, I'm, I'm using the, the letter K and sucking in. Okay? Then uh, the next thing we want to do is check out the hand wall on it. Um, just to let you know, I'm, I don't do the hand wall the right way. So uh, the, the right way, one more time, is that you hold it in, a, in like a C and you put the harmonica in like this and you do it like this. I'll actually, I'll try and play it this way so it can, uh, you can see it better. The first time through the lick, we're just gonna be doing a, just sort of a random wah. It's not in time, okay? <laughs> Except for on the bottom, but the I'm just fluttering the hand around, you know, at will. Okay, the, but the second one is gonna be, is gonna be like a quarter note triplets, like da, 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 da. In fact, let's just talk about, let me, I didn't really mention the time of this, but again, the importance of time. We have two half notes, and then two eighth notes, and then it's all upbeat eighth notes. So what that means, if we're counting one, two, three, four, it's dun, dun, da, 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 uh, yeah, this, this, this is hard to do. Okay, so we've got the first two half notes. Each one of those is two beats long. So dun, dun, okay. And then in the second measure, it's a two measure lick. In the second measure, we've got da, 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 da. Da, okay, so that's on the upbeat eighth note. So it's one and, 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 or, or if you want to hear it like one and two and three and four 
and. Okay, it's really important that you're catching that, that you're playing those in the right place. That's what's gonna give this thing the right feel. It's also important that it's got a little swing to it. It's not da 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 right, da 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 da. It's that triplet feel that we talked about in the last video, okay? So um, the second time through the lick, the hand wall is gonna be doing this triplet thing. Did you catch that? It's a little awkward for me. I don't normally play like this, but I'm trying to do it so you can learn the proper technique. Um, okay, so again, um, I'm gonna play it. This time I'm gonna do it in the way that's comfortable for me. First time at will, and the second time in the, with the triplets. Let's, let's try this together. Okay, so hopefully I didn't blow any cookie into this while the camera was down. <laughs> I mean, I just ate a cookie, that's why. Okay, um, and I think uh, there's a couple different versions. There's like the, six, the live in 62, and then there's the one where they're all standing, uh, like looking down off of a balcony. I just checked it out on YouTube this morning because I figured I should go back to the source. Oh, going back to the source, that's a good thing too. Anytime you want to learn a song, it's always good to go back to the source. Um, so I think he plays that lick three times. Oh, in fact, yes, and he does a cool thing. Um, on the third time, when he's blowing out on the five, he goes, you know, if you can roll your R's like kind of a thing. So he goes. Um, so yeah, so let's try that. We can try that three times. The first time will be wah at will. The second time we'll do the triplet thing. And the third time we'll uh, do that tongue trill on the five blow. Okay, let's try that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to do the uh, triplet thing. Okay, scratch that. Let's try that again. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. So, and that last thing, uh, I didn't really explain what that last thing was because I'm guessing that you know from the previous video, but it's two draw and then four blow and then three draw. I'll also write this in the comments. Just like we were doing in that shuffle thing. Um, so yeah, that's Love Me Do. Uh, let me know again if you have any comments or questions about that. We'll return to this, by the way, later because the uh, part during the chorus, if you want to learn the whole harmonica part, That'd be pretty cool, but it turns out this is actually a good uh, harmonica tune because the next part it requires some pretty uh, advanced bending abilities, actually, though. Uh. Yeah, that part is uh, not that easy to pull off, so we'll maybe come back to that after we start learning some of the bending stuff. Thanks so much again for tuning into this video. Again, connect with me on Facebook or leave some comment for me and let me know how I can help you.